Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the delay. We are trying to make sure that we had the best proper internet for everybody. Um, we are ready to rock and roll now. Hopefully, everybody has stayed with us during this time. We have picked out some awesome items for you guys, and we are excited to bring those to you. So I went to that private pick, and I picked out – so about half of these items today for the live sale – are going to be um, unseen before, unlisted, brand new, exclusive to you guys. So hopefully you enjoy all the items that I picked out for you. Um, if this is your first time here at one of our live sales, uh, the way that this will work is, is I will show you guys the item and I will also show you a card. On that card, I will then remove the post-it note and under the post-it note will have the number to the item the first person to give me the number to that item in our chat because sometimes it might look a little different in your chat than our chat so it's the first in our chat will receive that item once you win that item you will then email us at the email that is scrolling across the bottom and then you will send me your address, your PayPal information, and then I will resend you your invoice for the item. Once that invoice is paid, we ship. Uh, last week, we pretty much got almost every single order out the door by Wednesday, which was awesome. So um, we are looking forward to getting you guys locked and loaded on some really fun, cool stuff. Uh, hopefully the internet is working well and everybody can see us crystal clear. Um, I'm going to say some hellos to some people really quick and give everybody a couple minutes to, to get in and then we will get the live sale underway. And I want to thank everybody for staying with us during <laughs> the beginning of that as we were trying to make sure the internet was good to go. So Michelle, thank you for stopping by. Dave, the Midwest Picker. Thank you, sir. Uh, got Carrie in here. KC Addicts is here. Suzanne McLean. Hemlock Lady. April is here as well. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Vintage and Vinyl. Randy is here as well. They are saying hello. And thank you guys for coming by. As always, you guys are great. And we really appreciate the love and support. Sandy, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Michelle, we're partying in the chat. Yes, thank you guys very much. Deanna, thanks for coming back. Mary, the Block Vintage, one of my faves. Hope all is well with you. Thrift you, just hoping on a few minutes before I have to get in the get the miniature people to bed. First day of virtual school tomorrow. Oof. Man, it's kind of crazy. All right. And Pam's Electric Place. Hello, hello. All right. Uh, oh, my vintage. Hello, hello. Well, this is a great name. Crazy Little Critters and Vintage Collectibles. Juliet. Nice. That was a tough one to read, but I think I got it. All right, so there's 29 people here in the chat. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And if something does not sell, then we will bring it back at the end of the show to give everybody who might not have been in the room at the time a chance to buy something if nobody else had purchased it. And if anybody has any questions at any point in time, please let me know. Um, I usually have a ruler with me, but I do not have my ruler right now. Hopefully, I can find a tape measure to give you guys measurements on things if need be. All right. So the first item today is going to be... You're going <laughs> to... My dude, I'm, this is blind. My Dukes is coming around the corner hot with something. All right. 
So the first item we have today is going to be this really gorgeous green mist, or they call it green mist. It's basically a satin um, finish on this, and it is made by Westmoreland. I don't know if you guys can see, it does have the Westmoreland sticker still on the inside. And this is the Painted Daisy Decal. Um, and this is a really nice frosted glass basket. Um, I do have a handy tape measure here. So this basket measures to the top of the handle to about uh, six and three fourths inches tall. So this Westmoreland glass green mist satin daisy decal printed on basket can be yours for a price of only $11 with the number 23. 23 gets you Westmoreland glass. All right, next item will be All right. So here we have a really nice anchor hawking in the charm shape. And you get the saucer and the cup. And this is in the um, Azurite color. So it's not as blue as, um, as the Delphite. It's more of like a really light kind of powdered blue. Um, and this is the cup and the saucer. And this can be yours for a price of $9 with the number 11. All right, next item up will be Michelle. Are you asking if, if am I buffering to you guys right now? Am I coming in clear to everybody? Hopefully. All right, so the next item up is this really awesome vintage chemical bottle glass and as you can see it reads let's see if we can get that focus for you guys acid hydro chlor acid hydrochlor it's a really cool label and glass here and there's even like a little etched in number into the glass up top and you can see the stopper is in pretty good condition as well. And they're right there. And this bottle will measure. Six and three fourths inches tall with the lid in. So this vintage chemical bottle can be yours for a price of $13 with the number 14. All right, so the winner of that item is going to be vintage and vinyl. Right. right. 
Next up is going to be a, another piece of Westmoreland glass. This is a, they actually, name of this color is called uh, Colonial Light Blue Mist. Uh, and this is a really gorgeous uh, bud vase, as you can see. And it also still has the Westmoreland sticker on the base, which is always a plus. And you can see this 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 bud vase is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has the nice base there on the top is really nice too. And just it's just a really beautiful color. The way that the light kind of comes through this bud vase is absolutely amazing. Um, and this bud vase measures to about nine and a half inches tall. So. The Westmoreland Colonial Light Blue Satin Mist Bud Vase can be yours for a price of only $9 with the number 26. 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26. All right. Suzanne McLean is the winner. And the next item up is going to be, oh, this one is really a favorite. So this is, this is actually out of my personal collection. Um, I just, you know, sometimes you kind of switch things up. I've been, have had this piece on, on top of my desk for a very long time. So I just kind of decided it was time to let somebody else enjoy this piece. I just find it to be super unique, full of character. So this is a Victorian milk glass inkwell. Now it was, it did have some sort of floral decoration on there, as you can see, but it has, you know, worn off over time. And I always found the bottom of this to be super interesting and it is hinged and it pops open like that. And then you can see inside there. It is just, to me, just has so much character. I think it's just a really interesting piece. Um, probably late 1800s, early 1900s would be my best estimation. It's just a super rad piece. Uh, like I said, it was kind of difficult for me to give it up, but sometimes you got to let other people enjoy treasures that you once enjoyed. So the Victorian Milk Glass Inkwell can be yours for a price of $15.00 with the number 17. And the winner is Constellation Pegasus. Congratulations, Mark, you are the winner. All right. We're rocking and rolling here now. So next up is going to be, so last week, was it last week or the week before? We uh, we had some really nice um, Hazel Atlas Modern Tone Cobalt Blue Sugar and Creamer set. Uh, so I actually just scored these two pieces and am dropping it to you guys first before anybody else. So here we have a pair of Hazel Atlas Cobalt Blue Modern Tone Cream Soup Bowls. So you know you had this cream soup bowls with the two handles and these are in fabulous condition. No chips, no cracks, no dings. And these pair of Hazel Atlas Modern Tone Cobalt Blue Cream Soup Bowls can be yours for a price of $11 with the number three. Numero trace for the Hazel Atlas Cream Soup Bowls. Oh. Oh. 
Blue Flamingo is the winner. Right. Yeah. I keep buffering for a few seconds, so I have to keep refreshing. Is anybody else having trouble seeing me? There's only 43 people here. All right. Next up. This is a really rad piece. This is another piece that is from personal collection. Uh, this has never been listed. This was actually a piece that my father picked up uh, many, many years ago. Um, so this is a really nice made in Italy, sort of like a demitasse espresso cup and saucer hand painted and you guys can see that really nice detail there and it is marked on the bottom and there is the cup for you and it is also marked on the bottom and i really one of the things i really like about the this is how the top the rim all the way down the handle has that sort of like vine look um, and you can also see it on the edge of this plate I just think that that kind of makes the flowers pop a lot more. It's just a really nice cup and saucer um, So the Italian cup and saucer can be yours for a price of ten dollars with the number 34 All right. So next up, we have this milk glass hobnail top hat. Um, and I believe this is going, I'm going to go ahead and attribute this to Fenton because of how the sharpness of the hobnails, which are consistent with Fenton hobnail. Uh, this is a really awesome hat. And you can kind of see, well, it's kind of difficult to see, but you get a nice little bit of a ring of fire through this milk glass, which I always like in my milk glass. And this is in really nice condition. Uh, and it does have that nice detail here along the edge of the hat as well, which kind of, kind of gives it a little bit more character. So this milk glass top hat can be yours for a price of $8 with the number 20 Two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Yes, 1970s pre-logo. All right, next up, we have this super cool retro vintage cutting board. Um, and this is actually made in Japan. And it has the really awesome sort of retro cutting board area right there. Um, and it has the space right there for your utensil and the magnet right there, which is really awesome. And then you can see that it is made in Japan. There's the marking right there. Cheese board, cutting board, yeah. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, right? I mean, it does have a big, big brick of cheese right there on top. And then I guess that's an onion. You got some olives right there, tomato, nice little vino to canter and glass, little pepper mill right there. Really cool piece. Um, so this cheese board, cutting board, cutting cheese board can be yours for $8. With the number 25. You could also whack your kids upside the head if they misbehave with this thing too. <laughs> All right. 
Next up, we have, oh, Mary, the block vintage, will come in with the last minute scoop for the cheese board. Go. All right. Next up, we have a Hall China individual teapot with the really awesome sunken lid. Um, I believe the name of the shape of this um, Hall teapot is Boston, and it is in really good condition. It does have a little uh, bit of flea biteage right here on the inside rim, um, and it does have the Hall marking on the bottom. And this is a nice individual teapot. I'd say probably two cups to the to the brim. Um, I really like this one because it does have the sunken lid. I think the sunken lids on these individual teapots make it display really cool. Um, so I really like this one. And it's that like really nice retro vintage brown. And the Hall teapot can be yours for a price of $11 with the number 18. Right. I don't have my flashlight either. I was just gonna say that. Wow. <laughs> no, that's okay. All right. Next up, I remember last the one one of the previous sales we had. Everybody was going crazy over a piece of the uh, lime green um, satin Fenton basket that, uh, or lime green satin Fenton piece that we had in the sale. So I decided I was going to bring another item back for you guys. So this is Fenton, and this is in the lime satin custard color um and this is the has the basket weave with the lattice edges and it is marked on the bottom as you can see and this is uranium glass so this will glow and this can be yours for a price of only 14 dollars with the number 32 All right, Casey Addicts is the winner. Congratulations. All right, next up, we got some super rad Tom Collins zombie glasses made by Federal Glass. Actually, it would go really well with that cheese board, if you ask me. But... I just, first of all, I love the shape of Tom Collins' glasses. I just think that, you know, it's that, it screams mid-century modern to me. Um, I mean, these are definitely like 60s, 70s vibe with the colorway and the pattern, but they are really, really awesome. So, boom, look at these bad boys. How rad are these glasses? And they are marked. They have the federal glass shield on the bottom. But these are just super, super rad. Now, I wish I had more, but I only got two. So his and hers sort of thing. Or, you know, you and your, your daughter, you and your son, you know, two girls on the patio having, you know, a couple of drinks. These are so fresh. I love these. So these pair of glasses can be yours for a price of $12 with the number 31. And it looks like the winner is Suzanne McLean.
Congratulations to Suzanne McLean. Those glasses are really rad. All right. This is another one of kind of like, I really like these. For some reason, I just, they're, they're cute, they're different, they're fun, um, and they're definitely highly collectible. So these are little trays made by um, Illuminia Royal Copenhagen. So as you can see, the mark right there. And what this is, is there are four of these, or excuse me, three of these trays, and each one has a different motif on them. Um, and they are all marked. So this one, you have like the sailboat right there. And it has its own marking right there. And they're like little mini ashtrays, um, but they don't have necessarily slots, even though technically they're considered to be ashtrays. Uh, so I think they can be used for a multitude of different things. Really cute. This one is one of my favorite. This one's super cute. This has got the little duck on it. And it is marked also great for soy sauce. That's that's a good one. I like that vintage and vinyl. Olive oil and vinegar. Olive oil and vinegar you know, some same thing like that. And then this one right here is like the more the old school sailboat on there. So you can have all three of these Illuminia Royal Copenhagen mini trays for a total of $13 with the number two. Yes, very true, Thrift You. They're, they're kind of Delft-esque, just different motifs. And they are made in, you know, Denmark. All right. Next up, we have this really awesome Shawnee Caviar. That's another good one, Vine Space. I like where you're at. So we have this really awesome sort of peach-colored, salmon-colored cornucopia vase. And this is marked USA. I would attribute this to Shawnee Potteries is what I am attributing this vase to. So this is a really awesome mid-century modern beach house vibe, really cool decor piece, um, and it is in great condition. And this cornucopia vase can be yours for a price of $11 with the number 27. Blue Flamingo with the win. Winner, winner, cornucopia dinner. All right. And you know, you know we got to have some carnival glass in our sales. Um, this one is a little bit more of a... Uh, it's not necessarily modern or contemporary, but it's not old school uh, carnival glass. It is an old school carnival glass pattern, but it's just remade. So this is a collaboration piece between Lennox and Imperial Glass. And the color of this bowl is absolutely amazing. Look at this. This is just iridescent pink. It looks a little peach in the screen, but it is pink. Really, really beautiful pink. And you can see the open rose pattern right there. Um, this is a really gorgeous piece right here. Um, and it is, it is about, let me get you guys a quick measurement on this bowl. It is about eight and a quarter inches wide and two and three-fourths inches tall and it has the um 
the marking right there in the center. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. That is the collaborative marking of Lennox and Imperial Glass. And this absolutely stunning iridescent pink Carnival Glass Rose Bowl, bowl, bowl of the Open Rose pattern can be yours for a price of $17 with the number seven. KC Addicts with the win. Gorgeous piece. All right. Now, this is another brand new exclusive piece. I really like this piece right here. Um, this is, to me, this is just something that can be, you know, displayed on the wall displayed you know in the kitchen in the dining room it could be on the wall it could be on a you know like a plate stand i just think it, it has a lot of like versatility to it so this is westmoreland glass and this is milk glass and this is on a beaded edge with the daisy decal hand painted on the plate and it is marked on the back with the Westmoreland symbol right there, as you can see. And this plate measures, I believe it's seven and a quarter. Yep, about seven and a quarter inches wide. And you can get this plate for only $7 with the number 19. All right, and next up we have, oh, this is another one of my favorites. I really like this one too. So this is Jeanette Glass. Uh, the name of the pattern is Anniversary, and it is in the Marigold color. And this is a soup bowl and, or I guess not soup bowl, excuse me, a berry bowl with the sherbet plate. And it is a really nice orange color of the marigold. Sometimes the this pattern and color could come out a little bit lighter. This one definitely has like that vibrant orange to it. Um, and it is in really nice condition and it is gorgeous and you get the plate and the bowl together as a pair for only eleven dollars with the number nine and that is jeanette glass anniversary in the marigold color All right, next up is another really cool piece. So this is a vintage inkwell, and there is no markings on this inkwell. It does have a really um, simple one thread top, and there is the bottom. And it is in a really nice cobalt blue color. I just, I, I'm a big fan of like old medical bottles, um, ink wells, anything that you can sit in a windowsill. I'm sure you guys have heard me say it before, but when these things, uh, the light comes through on these, and this has like character, it has, you know, the roughness on the inside and the outside. It's just, it, it shows like it's, it's age to a certain extent, but in a, in a good way, if you ask me. So the cobalt blue inkwell can be yours for a price of $7 with the number one. One is the loneliest number. 
Number one for the Inkwell. And the winner is Suzanne McLean. Next up, we have some salt and pepper shakers. Uh, these are made from by Noritake. They are a really just kind of simple yet complex uh, pattern. Uh, just a nice sleek shape. I really like these. The colors are really nice. I don't know how well they'll come up on your screen, but it's simple, but definitely complex with the way the details of these patterns are and it's just i like that that sleek shape the the bottlenecks that it has what is wrong? oh that's marker sorry it's clean <laughs> so these have the bottoms and they are marked noritake so these salt and pepper shakers by Noritake can be yours for a price of only $9 with the number six. You got those? All right, next up, we have some brass. This is a really interesting piece. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's got some character to it as well. Uh, this was made by uh, Virginia Metal Crafters, and this shape is a lemon leaf. And this it does have feet, as you can see. And there's the marking right there. And there's the up top. Really cool piece. And I guess, you know, this is one of those things where I guess it could have been used for an ashtray. It could have been used for a bunch of different things. Um, I kind of like it to put, like, maybe tie clips in for me personally, something like that along those lines. You can even put a little bit of change in there. Um, it is just a really – and it's really detailed too, super nice. So this piece can be yours for a price of $14 with the number five. Oh, five wand Paul, you are the winner. Winner, winner, brass leaf dinner. All right. These are some really interesting pieces right here. I got a lot of these his and hers sort of, you know, two-piece two things going for everybody. So these are made in Poland. Um, they are cut to clear cranberry wine goblets. And you can see the cranberry in there right there. And then the detail and the etching and the, and the stem right there with the beads all the way down, etching on the base. Um, they do have their own stickers right there that say made in Poland. And I'll give you a little twirl so you can see the cut to clear there. Yeah, these are really nice wine goblets right here. Great gift for a special occasion. And I'll give you guys a little. There you go. So. You can have the pair of these wine goblets. Let me give you a quick measurement because these are not your average wine goblets. Uh, these are have a little bit of height to them. They are approximately eight inches tall. And the pair can be yours for a price of $17 with the number 
16. Yes, fancy, fancy. All right, next up, we have a really cute stork in the crib made by Hager. And this is a really nice pink colored um, in great condition. And definitely like this piece too because you have the design on the outside and then on the inside it still has the design of the stork's other side of the face. And it has the hole here if you want to hang this um, on the wall of some sort. Uh, and then you can use it as the planter as well. And this Hager stork and crib can be yours for a price of nine dollars with the number 21. All right. Next up, oh, that one's going to go to Mary, the block vintage. Let me write you down. Mary coming in on those last-minute swooping buys. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate the support. There you go. All right. Next up, we have this really cute hen-on-nest salt dip cobalt blue. Um, now, this has an interesting, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. This has a marking on the inside. It is, uh, there it is. The marking is actually Rosso glass. So Mosser glass made these this particular hen on nest salt dip for Rosso glass company. Um, yeah, these are these are very very miniature uh, huns right here, and so this can be yours for a price of six dollars with the number twenty nine. For the little hun salt dip. Suzanne McLean, winner, winner, hen on nest dinner. All right. Ooh. Next up, we have these. To me, this might be, I mean, these are just really rad. Okay. I'm not even going to try and sell them to you. They're just really rad. These are very small amber glass paneled sugar and creamer set. Um, there is a little, there's some surface wear in right there on, on the sugar bowl. Uh, like just a little scratch right there. Come on, focus in, buddy. I don't want to show you his flaws. There you go. Uh, but this is a, this is thick, really like, this is like a nice, heavy um, glass. And it's just a super unique shape. Uh, well done. Like this is just one of those pieces. Once again, I like my glass where the lights uh, shines through. And I think this is a fabulous, fabulous example of the glass where the light will just shine through. Um, and they're definitely displayable uh, because of their unique size. Um, so this pair of very gold amber glass paneled mini sugar and creamer set can be yours 
for a price of eleven dollars with the number four. Numero cuatro. Can you check and see what was number 29, please? All right. This is a – oh, take this, my dukes. This is another really interesting piece. Uh, I have been unable to connect this piece to a maker, uh, but it is just very unique and an awesome color. Um, this is a compote of sorts. And it does have like the Jeanette glass um, or Wedgwood Jasperware sort of Grecian vibe going on around the bowl here. Uh, it does have some slight scratching right there, as you can see. Um, and it is frosted glass on the bottom. It does have the gold trim on the bottom as well and the gold trim on top as well. Really rad piece. And this is like a, this is almost very similar to that sort of um, light satin blue that was um, in the Westmoreland bud, bud vase. Uh, really nice piece, very unique. I haven't found another one like it yet, but I've only had it for a couple of days also. So um, you can have this one for $13 with the number 30. Oh, okay. Oh, and the winner is Bill. My man, Bill, coming through in the clutch. So for everybody that missed out on the Cobalt Blue, hun, I got another one for you. It's not Cobalt Blue, but it is a really pretty powder blue, hun. This is almost like, it's not lavender. It's, it's powder blue. It might look a little lavender on the screen, but this is definitely a powder blue, hun. And you can see it right there. Now, this one does not have a marking. Uh, I have, I've never seen this, uh, I've seen millions of Huns before, but I don't think I've seen many of them in this powder blue color. Um, there is a bit of, I don't know if that's a manufacturer flaw or just a flea bite right there on the edge, as you can see. Uh, but still a really nice color. You don't really see this color much very often. And it can be yours for a price of $6 with the number 33. 33 gets you the powder blue, hun. Hen on nest. Hun, it is. Jackie, you are the winner. Jackie is first with 33. And the 33 is coming in crazy. Y'all, I guess I should just bring Huns for every sale for the rest of the sales. We can just have one whole sale of Huns then. All right. Congratulations, Jackie. All right. This to me is a really interesting piece, too. Um, it, you know, like mid century modern kind of has like two different vibes to it. Like it kind of has like that that more gaudy sort of uh, mid century modern vibe with, you know, uh, when it comes to like the barware and like the, the golds and the silvers and things like that. And then you have like that mid century modern that's more of the earth tone sort of feel to it. And this is right up that alley. So this is made by Dansk Design. 
going to focus. There it is. Denmark. And this is a really awesome shaped creamer right here. Uh, and this guy measures to about three and a quarter inches tall. And then handle to spout is about five and a half inches. Um, I think this might have actually came with a lid, um, either sold with or without the lid. I'm not 100% sure, but I have seen some with and some without the lid. Um, nonetheless, it just, you know, it has that nice sort of fleck to it um, in certain areas as well. And it has like that little bit of a brown drip glaze right there on the top. Um, so, yeah, this dance creamer can be yours for a price of $9 with the number 8. Slag glass cornucopia toothpick holder. All right, Nathaniel. I'll keep that in mind, bud. <laughs> oh, Jump Girl Patty coming in. Out of left field for the steal. All right. All right, guys. I'm breaking in another one uh, out of my personal collection. Uh, this is a, this, this, this bad boy glows. I don't have my flashlight with me right now. As you can see, I'm in a temporary setup because of the internet situation, but this Vaseline glass sort of like honeycomb hobnail. It's really interesting because I, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look inside the, at the hobnails, you can kind of see that inside the hobnails, it has a little bit of texture too. And this is technically um, a candle votive, but I mean, if you wanted to get real fancy, since we're going, we're talking about being fancy tonight. I mean, you could probably drink some sherry out of this, you know, maybe a little bit of cognac at nighttime, and well, you know, whatever floats your boat. But it is definitely super rad piece. Um, and like I said, this is Vaseline glass, uranium glass, so it will glow under the black light. Um, and it's got some nice weight to it as well. And it, what's going on, Gary? And it measures at about four inches tall. And this piece of Vaseline glass, hobnail, candle votive, sherry glass can be yours for a price of $11 with the number 20. Give me number 20. Cavassier, yes. Somebody please pass the Cavassier. April Davis, you are the winner. Winner, winner. Hobnail dinner. Oh, yes. Josie is not with us tonight. I don't know if I told everybody that or not. She's on her way back from a girl's day out. So, yes, everybody loves pass the Cavassier. My Dukes is in the hallway singing it right now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So these are another really interesting uh, piece that we have right now. And we have a pair of candlesticks. Now, these candlesticks have a really nice silver overlay of what appears to be strawberries and another fruit, which I will leave to the buyer to determine the origins of that fruit so here we go clear glass and you can see the silver overlay right there and then i'll show you the bottoms which look really rad too and then they also have the silver lay overlay on top of the candlesticks. And I'll show you, try and get you guys that look one more time. There you go. And these pair of candlesticks with the silver overlay fruits 
can be yours for a price of only $13 if you give me the number 10. 10, 10, 10. Gets you the silver overlay candlesticks. They're putting everything that didn't sell in one pile so we can rerun it for everybody. All right. This is another really interesting piece, brand new. I've literally had it for a couple of days. Um, these are – and at first, I when I, as soon as I saw them and I picked them up, I, I said to myself, those are close, closing it. And so then I brought them home and I, I had to like – because typically the – they have more of a texture on them, uh, and this doesn't necessarily have that texture. But then I took the top off, and I like you know did some inspecting, and I started doing a little, and you can hear they are cloisonné, and so this is a pair of cloisonné salt and pepper shakers, but the best part is is the tops come off. So you have the shakers here, all right, with the nice little floral painted on. And then underneath of those are salt dips. And they also have the painted on them. So basically you get one salt dip and shaker and you get a second salt dip and shaker. So you can get these pair of cloisonne salt and pepper shakers with dips. So that's four pieces in total of all of them for only $19. Cloisonne, $19. Shakers and dips for a price I mean, no, no. <laughs> 28 Give me 28 for $19, and you get the close in A. I'm just going to put those right there for now. All right. Next up. We have, this is snowflake pattern. Um, typically, you will recognize this pattern um, as a Pyrex pattern. This is actually one of the, you know, corningware and Pyrex are together eventually. Um, so this one says, this is not marked Pyrex. This is marked corning. Um, and this is the snowflake pattern. And this is a sugar bowl. So you can have the Corning Snowflake. Uh, in Pyrex, they call it snowf uh, Snowflake Garland or Garland Snowflake. Um, so this is super mid-century modern, milk glass, heavy duty, uh, sugar bowl in a Snowflake Garland pattern. And it can be yours for a price of $6 with the number 12. Jackie with the win. Congratulations, Jackie. You are the winner. And I heard somebody talking about Delph earlier. So I pulled out this hand-painted Delph's Blue. beer mug and it's got the classic sailboat on one side and it has the classic windmill on the other side and i really like the design on the handle i just thought that kind of like set the whole thing off if you ask me 
So you can have this Delft's Blue hand-painted beer mug. Let me give you a measurement really quick so you know how much beer you're putting in here. And it measures to about five and I mean four and seven eighths inches. And it's about three inches in diameter. And it can be yours for a price of eleven dollars with the number twenty-four. All right, now this is another brand new piece. Uh, this one, some people have attributed this to Brush McCoy. Uh, me personally, I never feel comfortable uh, calling something McCoy unless I see one of the McCoy markings, um, just because a lot of people throw that name, especially the Brush McCoy, um, out there on everything. And to me, I just feel more comfortable if I have the marking. Nonetheless, this is a really awesome piece of pottery here. Um, it does have a marking on the bottom, uh, USA 805. And this is a just gorgeous mint green planter with the embossed leaves there, as you can see. Celadon. Celadon. My mom, my Duke says it's more Celadon. And there's the inside for you. And the other one right there. Really, yes, the color is absolutely gorgeous, Deanna. So you can have this planter for a price of only $12 with the number, ah, 15. 15 is the number for the planter. Oh, Blue Flamingo is the winner. Congratulations. All right, we got another piece of carnival glass. This is Fenton Carnival Glass. The name of the pattern is... Ooh. Is butterfly and berries. And there is a little bit of damage on the inside there, as you can see. And this is the marigold um, butterflies and berries. So you can see the butterfly and the berries. And what's really rad about this piece is that it has the claw foot. Right there, as you can see, each one of the feet have claws in it. Um, and it's just a really gorgeous piece, as you can see right here. A nice marigold color. Um, and this can be yours for a price of $11 with the number 13. Oh, Stacy. That was the last one? All right. All right. Stacy Brinkley, you are the winner. 13 for the Fenton Glass. So that is everything. You guys ran through 32 items pretty quick tonight. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to bring you guys one more chance for those of you that weren't uh, here early on um, to, or if somebody now decides they want to buy something, we're going to give you guys a chance to take a look at everything that did not sell already. And we will give you a chance to buy them again. All right. And don't forget to bring me those. Yeah. All right. But that's sold. What's sold? These? No. Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. All right, I'll put in the car. So first up, second chance by There you go, Stacy. I just put it in the chat for you. All right. So Westmoreland Glass, Green Satin Mist, Daisy Decal. Still has the Westmoreland Glass sticker. This basket can be yours for a price of $11 with the number 23. Right. And second chance buy is the Anchor Hawking Charm Azurite color. Uh, is that 23 on that basket? Stacy Brinkley, you win 23. Take care of Vintage and Vinyl. So, Anchor Hawking Charm. Azurite color. So this is like a very like powder blue, light blue color. I don't know if you can see it here. This can be yours for $9 with the number 11. Suzanne McLean with the win. Almost, Michelle. Almost. All right. Second chance at the Hall Teapot. Two cup Hall Teapot. Retro brown. Sunken lid. Super cool. All marking on the bottom. Small little flea bites on the inside. Displays like a gem. Can be yours for $11 with the number 18. No, the microwave did beep. I'm not serving snacks. Uh, Ma Dukes is redoing her kitchen, so the kitchen's in the living room right now. <laughs> All right, no takers on the hall teapot. And there is another live sale coming up in 14 minutes. Uh, if somebody can put the link in for the next live sale, if you are a moderator. Oh. Do, do, do. The Vintage Carriage House has their sale next. Um, so if somebody can put the link to the Vintage Carriage House live sale, which starts at 930, that would be great. want to make sure everybody comes from over here, to goes over there and shows some more love and support to the vintage community. All right. Second chance sale. Westmoreland Glass. Beaded edge, milk glass plate, daisies, painted on, really cute, really rad, displays amazing. Westmoreland symbol on the back can be yours for $7 with the price, I mean number, <laughs> 19 can get you the Westmoreland plate for $7. Why, thank you, Crafty Jackie. I appreciate that. All right. Second chance sale item. Hobnail. Fenton Hobnail. Milk glass. Top hat. I mean, this is... I can't believe this is didn't make it... This made it through the first round and nobody bought it. Fenton glass. Hobnail. Milk glass. Top hat, toothpick holder, display, however you want to roll with it, can be yours for only $8. It's Fenton Hobnail Milk Glass, top hat, 
Um, there is no Fenton marking on the bottom because – I believe this was pre 1970s Fenton. Um, I attribute it to Fenton because of the sharpness of the hobnails, which are typical of Fenton. And those can be, this can be yours for only $8 with the number 22. 2020 22. Oh. Here we go. Cindy's thrifting again. You are the winner. And 22s came in fast. Thank you, Cindy. Congratulations. And thank you, Nathaniel, for dropping that link. All right. And next up on the second chance buys is from my personal collection. This handmade, hand painted saucer and cup made in Italy. I mean, this is just, you know, sitting out in the garden, drinking your espresso, sort of a cup and saucer. I mean, you, you're not going, you, this is one of those things where you're just not going to find this. You just can't, it's not like something you can, like, find everywhere and anywhere that's why i like it i like it because it's that unique so hand painted cup and saucer made in italy for yours ten dollars number 34 All right, next up, second chance at a sale is the Aluminia Royal Copenhagen. Not just one dish, not just two dish, but you get a third one with a cute little duck on it. And it has the marking right here, Aluminia, Denmark, Royal Copenhagen. Each one of them are marked individually. And you can get all three for your caviar, for your soy sauce, for your olive and vinegar, olive oil and vinegar. All three of them total. You get all three of them for a price of $13. If you give me number two. Number two. All right, next up in the second chance sale, Jeanette Glass, pattern, anniversary, super awesome, marigold, really cool color. You get the dish and the bowl. I mean, for me, I just picture like, you know, waking up, maybe having some orange slices on the, on the plate around the edge of the plate, a little bit of cream. Parfait yogurt with some fruits in the bowl. Like, I just think waking up to that would be really cool on a bowl on a plate like this. And these can be yours for only $11 for both of them. Number nine. So all you got to do is give me number nine. Number number nine. How many are left out of the... Uh. All right, second chance sale. Nortaki. Salt and pepper shakers. Look at the detail and the color on that. Really nice. And they are marked on the bottom. And you can have the salt and pepper Nortaki shakers for only $9 with the number six. All right, last chance sale, $11, amber glass, paneled, heavy. Oh, Stacy Brinkley, number nine. On the North 
Congratulations, Stacy. You win the salt and pepper shakers. And these guys, really nice. Sugar and creamer, paneled amber glass, $11 with the number four. All right. Got it? Got it. All right, one more chance to get fancy, ladies and gentlemen. Made in Poland, cranberry red, cut to clear. Look at the detail on those stems. Focus, focus, look at that. Detail on the bottom. Really, really rad pieces here. Cut to clear. I mean, these are wine goblets for the stars. These are really pretty fancy. And you can get both of those for only $17 with number 16. All right, we're winding down the second chance here. Hand painted Delft's Blue beer mug, classic windmill pattern, sailboat pattern, and a really rad handle. Oh, that's real. Well, that's a good point, too. They would look really nice with a votive in them. And you can get the Delft Bloom beer mug for eleven dollars with the price I'm number twenty four. All right. Oh, back alley garage, Steve with twenty four. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you for the support, my man. All right, next up are the silver overlay candlesticks. Silver overlay on the top, silver overlay on the bottom. Really rad candlesticks. And the candlesticks can be yours. For a price of $13 with the number 10. All right. And the last thing of the evening for you to try and get is going to be, I, I don't know, I, I these things sell for like $24 for one. Tim, what's the number for the wine glasses again? I think I need them. What's the number for the wine glasses, Ma? Uh, that number is 16. The number for the wine glasses is 16. I'm waiting to see if there's a – what's the price on them? $17. $17 for number 16 for the glasses, Poteet. I like the idea of the candles. They're yours. Congratulations, Poteet. Poteet's Vintage Finds. All right. The last thing. Cloisonne. I mean, these are so rad. Cloisonne salt and pepper shaker. They come off on the top. And you got the salt dips on the bottom. I mean, these things are super rad. They haven't even been listed yet. You guys are the first people to get a chance at these. So if nobody gets them, they're going up. They're getting listed. Cloisonne, salt and pepper shakers that sit on top of the salt dips. Super rad pieces. Can be yours for $19 with the number 28.
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for your love and support. Uh, hopefully, we will be on Vintage Vinny's uh, live sale. What day is that? Shoot, is it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday the 29th. Um, four of us are going to be over there. So that should be a fun time. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Um, if you want an item today, the email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. I will also type it in one more time, the chat for you. Um, just if you have already had your information, it's okay. If I don't, if you haven't bought from us before, just shoot us an email, um, Saturday, 5 15 Eastern. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> And yeah, we shoot us an email with your information. We like to get things packed tomorrow morning, send out the invoices by tomorrow afternoon, and hopefully have your items shipped out the door by Wednesday. That is our goal here at Over the Years. We hope you guys enjoyed the sale. Uh, so we will be Vinny's on Saturday. And then after that, we have one more sale and then we'll be off on Labor Day. Um, Suzanne McLean says, add 19 to my pile. You got it, Suzanne. You're the best. Thank you to everybody. I cannot, you know, thank you guys enough. This is my full-time job. This is how I make a living. So I really do appreciate all of you that come out here and support me every week. It does mean a lot to me. Um, we have a blast. I hope you guys have fun too. So enjoy the rest of your number 19. The Suzanne is you 19 is the milk glass plate. Is that right? Thank you, Chicago lady. I appreciate that. I'm just waiting for once. I'll say goodbye one more time while I wait for Suzanne. Yep. That's it. You got it, Suzanne. So, yes, don't forget to head over to the next live sale, okay? Uh, Nathaniel dropped the link in the chat already. They are starting right now. So we are going to sign off. Everybody have a lovely evening. Thank you, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and enjoy the rest of your shopping this evening.